Okay, guys, let's do a random good morning. Let's do a random shop my stash. I'm still scrubbing my YSL blurring primer. This little sample size I had. I need to take a yep, there you go. <laughs> get all the products out. Mm -hmm. Probably got two more uses now. Is that all? I wore this the other day and it was beautiful. Like I knew beautifully. Like I knew it would. Uh, this is a true definition of a poreless primer. If you're looking for poreless, I'm gonna do blur. I'm gonna I'm gonna have no pores today. My pores are gonna be no more. This in the T zone for this one. I meant to moisturize my lips because I'm gonna do a matte lipstick. I'm gonna make sure they moisturize. Got that on. For foundation today, I'm going to take this MAC Studio Sculpt with SPF 15 and NC 50. I don't think they no longer sell this, but I could be wrong, so check it out for yourself. I don't know. And I mixed a little yellow pigment with it. Hope it's not too yellow. Mm -hmm. I always find stuff and then the next couple of months it's like oh you know you know they no longer sell that I'm like what especially the stuff I love like, oh they no longer sell that okay <laughs> uh, I just saw an eyeshadow palette over here on the floor and my lip Bomb. Say that on. Mm -hmm. Take some of this Roma Number no. Four base by P. Louise. I said I was going to use this all week, and so far, I have. Guys, I'm about to get a piece of hair off my face with the eyeshadow base. It would have been just as white. Press it in, make sure it's flat. 
And then we have this LA Girl Break Free palette. Take this shade, put it in the crease. Yeah, it's called Beauty. The shades are on that little thing. Even though I don't think, I'm going to need something else. Let me see. This is the shade I could work with. Yeah, I could work with this. Once you see my top, <laughs> then you'll know me and my tops, right? And blend it in there, swirl it. However you get your shadows on, it's how you get your shadows on. As long as they come out blended, by all means, do you. I was watching uh, Breakfast Club and JL White, a.k.a. Urkel, from Family Matters was on there. I have never seen such a self-indulged person in my lifetime. Oh, boy, get over yourself. <laughs> Please get over yourself. True Family Matters, you were a big part of Family Matters, but there were also other characters on there. It was called Family Matters. It wasn't called The Urkel, the Urkel Show. If they felt like you could have did a show by yourself, you would have had your own show. This was called family matters i hate when people get into their these child stars and they get into their adult life thing and the world owes them something the world does not owe you everything is about you 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 be quiet no one cares like no one cares i guess he has a book coming out so he um he's doing like what you call that thing press run or whatever boy Get over yourself, please. <laughs> Golly, when did Family Matter go off air in the 90s? Hush. And then say um, they, Netflix wanted to do, you know, like a reboot or whatever. And the producer came and asked him. And he was like, he think it would be better if people knew his life, like going to school while still filming Family Matters and all of that. Why? Did nobody ask to see your life? We don't even know you outside of Urkel. And we don't want to know you outside. And from the looks of it and the way you talk about yourself, we don't want to know you outside of Urkel. Just keep being Urkel. You could be Urkel for the rest of the lifetime for all we care. Because you are too self-indulged, sir. Don't make me mad. <laughs> Look, don't make me mad this morning, sir. Talk about you don't think it's better the show be about you. Now can't nobody make no money. Because you don't want to do it because the show ain't about you. I'm going in with this brown something shade. Same palette. You don't want to do it because they don't want to make the show about you growing up in the studio and uh going to school at the same time. What? Huh. I'm sorry, Laura and Carl and Harriet and Rachel, that y'all can't get a little, little job and give the people what they want, family matters, because you got somebody who think the show should be about them. People ain't interested in your life. I am go, y'all. I don't go. I can't say the last time I went to the movies. I have no idea. I had to probably think real, real, real hard. But I am going to see Gladiator. I already liked like number one, the first one. But Denzel in the second one. I use this color at the bottom. I am for sure going to see Denzel and Gladiator. Yes. Now that's somebody who can act. Believable. Any character he play is believable. Melina. I love Denzel. My favorite movie from him 
will have to be no I gotta can't breathe right now hold on Malcolm X all-time favorite from him drop down and let me know your favorite Denzel movie I know some of y'all gonna say training day training day was good but Malcolm X that and fences like him on Malcolm X and Fences but Malcolm X the most because I can watch Malcolm X every day if you let me just get it on there and then clean blending brush All right, let me wet my sponge and get my sun up at the same time. Okay, I'll take some of my e.l.f. deep olive since I haven't picked this up in forever. And it's almost gone, so I need to finish it. I'm scraping it. It's a little light highlight. Mm -hmm. Some of this Maybelline Fit Me in Caramel. Give it a little bit more brightness. And No, it's Sasha Buttercup. And some of my one size bronzer. Now we got a complete face until we come back for the lip show. I think my makeup time is getting faster and faster and faster. I just make a mess all the time. Faster and faster. And let me do my lashes, my spray. Whew. 
Okay, by now, guys, you should have seen my Ruby Kisses new liquid lipstick swatch video. So I'm going to take the shade Rebel today, hence the top. And we're going to do a colorful lip today. <laughs> I'm gonna try to stay in the line. These feel really good, y'all. Like, really good. All right, let me fix my lunch, and then we're going to let this dry so y'all can come back and see, like, how it looks dry down. Because right now, it's scary. Okay, guys, I'm back. It's not bad. It still has a little sheen to it, so to me, it's not totally mad because it's been about maybe, like, six or seven minutes, and it still feels comfortable. I don't know how long I'm having it on today, <laughs> but this is how it's looking. I think this is a beautiful color. Um, I think the gloss underneath helped a little bit. I also still keeping my lips a little shiny. Yep, this is it. I don't know what kind of look you want to call it. Like, what do you call it? Monochromatic type look. That's what this is. If you enjoyed today's video, give the video a thumbs up because it helps my channel out a lot. And I am out of here going to work. Peace out. Bye, y'all.